Kate Middleton stuns royal fans in elegant green and turquoise headscarf at Batshai Mosque. Kate Middleton visited the Batshai Mosque in Lahore, Pakistan with her husband, Prince William. The Duchess of Cambridge wore a vibrant teal ensemble with gold accents and a matching headscarf by local designer. The ensemble was crafted by Pakistani designer Mayan Khan, whose creations have been frequented by the Duchess of Cambridge during the tour. On Twitter, Khan said she was proud to have designed this outfit for the Duchess. Khan explained that she and her team adorned the chiffon look with Pulkari embroidery, which is a craft and a pattern of geometrics in Tichal. The designer also praised Kate's poise wearing the headscarf, saying, I love the grace with which Her Royal Highness Princess Kate carries the dupada. She looks so comfortable. As for William, he donned a white suit and blue shirt and tie. The mother of three went barefoot for the occasion, while William simply wore his socks, as is customary. The visit was another reminder of Princess Diana, as the late royal visited the same mosque in 1991, opting to wear a key lime green look with a black headscarf for the occasion. The Badshahi Mosque is the most iconic Islamic site in Lahore, set in the heart of the walled city. Inside the mosque, which is located in the walled city of Lahore, the couple learned about the site's history and sat down for a discussion with religious leaders. During the meeting, they listened to a prayer read from the Holy Quran in Arabic. As they left the mosque, the Duke and Duchess received kind words from Fakir Aizuddin, the honorary British consul in Lahore. If there is one word to describe your visit, it's joy, he said to them. You have radiated joy wherever you have been. We are very happy people. Their itinerary began with a birthday party at SOS Children's Village, a charitable organization in the heart of the city established in 1977. The Duke and Duchess then moved on to National Cricket Academy, where they joined youngsters for a match of Pakistan's national game. Kate wore two different outfits during the day. First up, she wore a white shawar kameez, a tunic embroidered with jasmine, the country's national flower and matching pants, by Pakistani textile company Gul Ahmed and a matching shawl by Mayan Khan. She changed from beige suede heels into canvas tennis shoes to show off her cricket skills on the field. Wrapping up the fourth and penultimate day of the most complex royal tour ever, the couple then traveled to the Shaukat Kanum Memorial Cancer Hospital and Research Center. Kensington Palace confirmed on social media that the pair will be meeting with the patients at Shaukat Khan Hospital, then posted a vintage shot of the late Princess Diana doing the very same thing. In the children's ward, the royal couple met Wafia Rahmani, a seven-year-old girl from over the border in Afghanistan, who has a kidney tumor. Wafia presented a matching toy tiara to the Duchess and hosted a toy tea party on her bed. Wafia wants to be a doctor. She showed William and Catherine her toy medical set. From People's Report, this tiara donned tea party actually beat all the dazzling tiaras of the royal jewel vault. Catherine fulfilled the little girl's wish, and it was such a precious and emotional moment to see.